Our state is in a real mess. And I'm not going to give you any phony plans or snappy slogans that don't go anywhere. We have to make some tough decisions. We have to live within our means. We've got to take the power from the state capitol and move it down to the local level, closer to the people, and no new taxes without voter approval. We've got to pull together, not as Republicans or as Democrats, but as Californians first. It's now about six months since I returned to the state capitol as your governor. It's been a very exciting period, lots of debate among both political parties, but we made some very significant progress, but we're not done yet. I presented in January what I believe to be a very fair plan. I want to take a moment and review my plan. It has three elements. First of all, bring government closer to the people. That's called realignment. Number two, deep and permanent cuts to ongoing state programs. And number three, a temporary extension of taxes, but only upon a vote of you, the people. And then there's a fourth element, and that is reforms. Reforms in regulations, reforms in pensions, and a cap on ongoing state spending. So we have a plan, and it's a very good plan. It'll put California's finances on a firm footing for many, many years to come. But what we don't have are the four Republican votes necessary to put it to a vote of the people of California. Under our Constitution, it takes a two-thirds vote before the people can vote on a ballot measure of this kind. Those votes have to come from all the Democrats and at least two Republicans in the State Senate and two Republicans in the State Assembly. I'm really perplexed at why a package of this magnitude and this permanence, which has reforms, which has realignment, and which has temporary tax extensions, cannot be allowed for you, the people, to decide on. I'm not asking the legislature to make all these decisions. I'm asking for a vote of the people. In order to get that, we need the four Republican votes. This Wednesday, the budget will be voted on, one way or the other. And I assure you, I will keep fighting over my four-year period as governor of California to put our finances in order, to make the necessary reforms, and to go back to you, the people, on the fundamental decisions that we have to make as Californians.